Welcome to the New York Jets. Throughout history, NFL cheerleading has evolved from sideline entertainment for thousands of fans at a stadium to something that has become a staple to a franchise. Serving as role models on the field and in the community, the privilege of becoming an NFL cheerleader is a dream for girls of all ages. The Jets flight crew owns the spotlight in New York. My name is Denise Garvey, and I am the Jets Flight Crew director and choreographer, and I have been in this role since the flight crew was in September. Each year, hundreds of women audition to be a Jets Flight Crew member. The selection process is arduous, and this year's competition is fierce. I think having a range of people with a range of talents on the team is important because everybody has something to offer. It's a very cohesive environment where everybody is willing to learn and wants to learn from the teammate next to them. We'll follow three flight crew hopefuls on their journey to not only becoming part of a cheer squad, but a sisterhood. My name is Sarah Lasciavo. I'm 26 years old. I graduated from the University of New Hampshire with a degree in accounting. I decided to pursue my career in dance after. And then I made the flight crew team in 2015. No stranger to the green and white cheer squad, Sarah is a returning veteran looking to rejoin the flight crew after being cut at the end of her first season. When I think about Sarah, I think about the fact that she is obviously very brave. After spending a year in the uniform, developing those relationships with your teammates and to not hear your number, must be very heartbreaking and is probably one of the worst parts about my job. It's been proven over and over and over again. Sometimes you just need to go through the process and then come back stronger the following year. So hopefully you will feel encouraged, even though you may be disappointed, to come back again. Denise always tells us we have to be our best selves, and I wasn't at that time. As devastated as I was, I knew that I was not ready to be a veteran on the team. Ultimately, Sarah didn't make the team because she got beat out by other rookies. I'm treating her like a veteran who's worn the uniform before, so my expectations for her are high. Hi, my name is Samara. I'm 23 years old. I graduated from the University of Delaware, and now I am a special education teacher. Samara came with a confidence, and when I watched her dance, I said, this girl has experience. I was on the University of Delaware's dance team while I got my undergrad, and when I went for my master's, I was no longer eligible to be on the dance team, so I tried out for a pro team. I was with the Philadelphia Eagles cheerleaders for two seasons. A New Jersey native, Samara is returning home to prove if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Clearly she has the look of an NFL cheerleader. She's beautiful. She's got the ability to dance and entertain and have showmanship. And then when I found out about her pro experience at the Eagles, it kind of made sense to me. I loved every moment of it. The experience I had with the Eagles is what brought me here to audition for the Jets. Being a cheerleader for another team can help because it's experience. We have had cheerleaders from other pro teams on the flight crew before. It can either help or hurt you. If you are so focused on the way that it is when you used to be on this team, that can hurt you. So you have to be willing to use the experience but be able to take on a new environment and a new experience. My name is Lauren. I'm originally from Albany, New York, but I now live in Hoboken, New Jersey. And I work full time as an elementary English as a new language teacher in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. A familiar face at auditions, Lauren is more determined than ever to make the flight crew. This is her fifth time trying out for the squad. When I think about Lauren, I think about the fact that she has re-auditioned five times. That is dedication, that is commitment, that is believing in yourself. To me, those are all qualities that a flight crew chiller has to have. I first tried out in 2013 and I got caught in the semi-final round. And then 2014, 2015, I made it to finals. And last year, I actually got cut at semi-finals. I've seen Lauren come to the audition with different hair colors. I've seen her come at different dance levels. I've seen her four or five years. 
to watch her self-assess and determine how she's going to come and be different this year is interesting to watch. This is a really nerve-wracking experience. I've never felt these nerves, these butterflies, this excitement before in my life. And that keeps me going. As day one of auditions comes to a close, the group of hopefuls is reduced to less than half. Sarah, Samara, and Lauren have moved on to day two. When I'm looking for a new member for the Jets flight crew squad, first off, you think of what does a professional cheerleader dance like, look like, but on top of that, I want to see if their personality is something that would gel with the overall team environment. Keeping it positive, keeping it supportive, making sure that everybody is there for the right reasons, which is to put on the best possible performance, and while we're there, creating a family environment where everyone truly cares about one another. When making the squad returns, the hopefuls step foot on MetLife Stadium turf and strut their stuff in front of the judges. We are at MetLife Stadium for day two of the Jets Fly Crew auditions. They learned choreography on the field and they learned our signature kick line that we do at every Jets home game. Today was very high pressure because they need to learn a lot of choreography and retain it and perform it all with confidence and great showmanship. Being on that field was the best feeling in the entire world. I can't even explain it or put it into words. Once you're on the team, I feel like you know what you can have and once you really know, you really want it back. The girls definitely made it difficult for us judges. It's definitely a lot of fun to watch all the girls and see their personality shine through. It was really exciting. It was such a beautiful day, and getting to learn all the choreography, I was just taking it all in. But hey, this could be me on the flight crew one day. I've been there before. I've done it for seven years, so I know what they're going through. It's fun, it's stressful, it's scary, but at the end, it's all worth it. Thank you so much for your patience. It was probably a long time to wait, but it was well worth it because we were able to make decisions that we feel really confident about. We know we did our best, so whatever happens, happens. I just wanted to show them how much I love dancing. This is my passion, and I would be a great member of the team. From today's group, we are inviting back a small, very select group of 33 women who will advance to the final round. Even if I don't make finals, I'm glad I like came and faced my fear. I want to prove that I can still do this and that I can be a second year veteran on the team. If your name is not called, I would encourage you to think about coming back next year stronger and with the experience of having gone through this process before. I was very happy with how I did. I felt like I did the best I could. I tried to not get in my head, which is easy to do in this environment. So with that said, these 33 people are advancing to the finals. And all of you, again, congratulations on going after it. Starting into the finals group, we have number 76. I was just speechless. I was so excited. I just ran up there really fast and I couldn't stop smiling. Welcome to the finals, number 165. It was the best feeling ever to hear my number called. Every single emotion I've ever had like came through me. Okay, I have six more names to read. I'm just waiting there as the numbers go up. It was definitely nerve-wracking. I'm just feeling tunnel vision right now. Like, that's where I am. I just, like, this is my fifth year. I just really want it, and I'm so close, and I just really want to make my dream a reality. And the last number going to finals this year is number 130. So I was definitely relieved. It just means that, you know, Denise and the other judges see something in me. The biggest difference between the semifinal round and the final round is that they're going to be standing side by side and performing right next to girls who have worn the uniform. So they need to be able to hold their own because if they don't, they won't get noticed. We're going to final! Coming up next on Making the Squad, the girls remain fearless and focused for finals.
Welcome to the Jets locker room. This is so exciting that we get to use this space. I feel like it really embodies the energy of what it's like to work for this organization. I walked into the locker room and my jaw dropped. Definitely made me feel like I was ready to do my solo for everyone. Today is the final round of the New York Jets Fly Crew Children auditions. This is the last stage of the process. The girls have been auditioning for two weeks now. And today they were able to showcase a 90 second solo in front of the judges. They can choose their own music, their own costumes. You guys look ready to go. The point of the solos is to show the judges that they can be entertaining, that they can have showmanship. If they have technique, they can demonstrate it there. And they really can choose a style of dance that serves them the best and shows the judges really why they should be on the team. Thank you very much. It was really cool to be back, but it was terrifying. Sarah seems to me to be somebody that knows how to self-assess and come back and be better than she was the last time that she went through the audition process. I really had a fun time up there. It was super fun. Hopefully, all my preparation paid off. When I think about Lauren, I think about somebody that really believes in herself to come back five times and feel like she has it in her and she's not willing to take no for an answer. That's tenacity. I felt really focused. Seeing everyone's faces smiling back at me made me feel really confident. When I think about Samara, I think about somebody that has experience. It's what she'll do with it in this environment because every team and every squad is different. So can she adapt to what the flight crew is really all about is really what I'm watching when I look at her. Okay, all right, so here we go. Um, this, is, this is the moment of truth right now, right ladies? Yes. All 55 candidates are excellent. That's what got him to this point, but we need to have the best of the best. I was a no for her up until this last round. I was a yes, then I was a no this morning. Now I'm a maybe. Every girl on the flight crew was the captain of their high school cheerleading team. Every girl on the flight crew was the prettiest girl in the room. Now we have a whole room of that. We have 55 of that. If I could say one thing about her, I've never seen her dance like this. I've never seen her look like this. She doesn't um, pull you in, make you want to watch her. Yeah, but she's cute. I feel really nervous. I can't wait for it to be over, <laughs> but I, I'm excited. They're nervous. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to think of like, oh, I should've done this better, should've done that better. It's over at this point, and I just hope that Denise and the other judges enjoyed it as well. You're on a path that you can't get off of, so you're gonna do the best that you can, and if you're supposed to be here in the end, you're gonna wind up here. When we return, it's the moment we've all been waiting for, the unveiling of the 2017 New York Jets flight crew. All right, ladies, this is it. You guys have been so patient. From the finalists today, I am going to call out 39 names. And those 39 names will be the women that will be invited into our training camp and members of our 2017 Jets Flight Crew Squad. I really want it to be my year. You just gotta trust the journey. I really think that I've grown a lot over the past couple of years, and maybe I wasn't ready to be on the team. If you do not hear your number called, please consider re-auditioning next year. I really hope that I impress Denise and I hope that she thinks that I improved since last year. When your number is called, please cheer, run, yell, jump, and let's support each person as their numbers are called. And I think in any audition setting, there's definitely pressure. It's all about keeping your angst down and your excitement up. So starting out our 2017 squad, we have number 76, Samara. It was such a surreal moment. I started to tear up. I was just so excited. They say that if you make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. And I've been in Philly and now I'm in New York and I'm really excited to be here. My name is Samara and I'm a New York Jets flight crew cheerleader. Welcome back, veteran number 155, Casey. Welcome to the New York Jets, number 115, Samantha. 
Welcome back, veteran number 165, Sarah. I can't even explain it. I thought it was going to fall over. <laughs> After last year when I didn't hear my name called, and then to like hear, welcome back, number 165, like it was <laughs> the best feeling ever. It was awesome. My name is Sarah, and I'm a returning member of the New York Jets flight crew. Welcome to the New York Jets, number 133, Lindsay. I first started with count, just because I know she said 39 girls, and then that was making me nervous, so I stopped counting. Welcome, number 90, Jennifer. I think it's four times the charm, number 147, Kristen. I was just thinking about the last couple of years while she was calling names and just like the hard work I put into it. I just hope that it was enough. I have four more names to read, four more. Lauren needs to be somebody that stands out and rises to the top of the list. She's got to be somebody who can kind of break past that barrier and get herself to a point where not only should she be here, she has to be here. And our last name this year. Welcome to the New York Jets, number 130, Lauren. I think that's the biggest accomplishment. Like something like my true passion that I just, that it finally came true. And I just, I want to just take a second and just enjoy it. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I'm just, I just can't wait. Hi, my name is Lauren, and I am one of the newest members of the 2017 Jets Like the Cheerleaders. I'm really proud of the women that made it today. What they don't realize is that their journey and their hard work is really just beginning. They have a whole year ahead of them of many, many rehearsals. But on top of that, there's a lot of things that cheerleaders do that are separate and apart from dancing on the sideline. Going out into the community, making public appearances, doing photo shoots, doing interviews for New York media. Their journey, whether as a rookie or a veteran, is really just beginning. But this is really, for me, where the story begins. See you at the Inhale all that positive energy. Exhale all those nerves. The squad has been really busy. We were in training camp all summer. Training camp is a lot of work. We work really hard all together. We put in a lot of hours and a lot of sweat. Take a minute, since we have one, and I want you to think back to the person who tried out in April. Take a minute and think about where you were when you made the team and where you are now. It was really exciting to be back. I love being back on the field and getting to learn all the dances, and I'm really excited to start. There's not a lot of people that can say they dance for 82,000 people on a Sunday. It was a long journey. This was my fifth year trying out, and my fifth year was successful, so I'm just really looking forward to the experience and know that all my hard work um, will have paid off at that moment. Flight crew has already won this game if we go out there with the energy that's in the circle right now. I definitely think it's a sisterhood. I think it's really hard for people who aren't a part of it to really understand what it's like and what we go through. So to have 35 other girls going through the exact same thing I'm going through, they just have become some of my best friends. So I'm just truly grateful for them and the support that we have for one another. Let's give them a big show. It's New York. Best audience in the world. One, two, flight crew. One, two, flight crew. Woo!